Well, the experience is big, you know, uh, because you got a lot of guys that's been there and, you know, got a lot of experience from, like, our previous bowl victory and then, you know, our Sun Belt Conference Championship back two years ago. Uh, the experience is something huge there right now, and it's just it's, – it's exciting. It's exciting to be able to get a chance to play with those guys again and go out this year and compete. Uh, the linebacker that is your Antoine Williams, a pretty big loss, but you bring back or you bring in the former Florida State linebacker. Yes. Uh, how much of a benefit is having him a pro rep? Uh, it's, it's a huge benefit. Um, he's very dedicated to the game. Um, he's put in work, and that's something that you like to see from a, a guy that plays right there beside you, that he's willing to – dedicate himself, um, make sacrifices for the team, and lay it all on the line. And that's something that I'm really looking forward to because I know that he's going to go all out for us. Uh, in games in which uh, Georgia Southern won, uh, y'all played at a pretty high level. But when games went poorly, it seemed to snowball. Mm -hmm. uh, what have y'all done to kind of combat the effects of the, the game and just kind of overwhelm? Well, you know, um, as a team, we, we all have been – emphasizing a lot on finishing, you know, um, no matter what. We just going to give it all, give it all day in, day out. Like, um, th like with this summer has been huge for us, you know, um, just mentally, physically, just to show ourselves that and prove to ourselves that we're capable of doing anything. So as far as, like, come game time, there won't be no regrets at all because we know that we're going to give it all. Uh, the biggest strength, I have to say our D-line. Uh, we got a lot of talent right down the D-line. So um, having those big guys up front makes it easier for us guys in the back. Yeah, kind of go in and stop the yes. Um, All right. <laughs> oh, I do have one last one. Uh, the new game, Iron Head's pretty unique. <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> Well, uh, I had to give credit to my dad. Um, it's a nickname he gave me when I was younger, and it somewhat stuck, you know, throughout my life. Um, and I think it has something to do with Ironhead Hayward. He played back back in the day, so yeah, that's where that come from. <laughs> All right, have a good one. <laughs> Well, you know, I learned a lot from Antoine, you know, learn, you know, no matter what, you had to go hard. I get, day in, day out, he was dedicated to the game, and he put in work, and that's something that I really admired, and he, he knew his stuff. And that's some, something that I really try to emphasize these past couple of years, you know, just to learn the game a lot more, and, and day in, day out, just put in the work. Well, it's just practice, you know, just putting putting in the time and, you know, you reaping the benefits of it. Did you come up with the answer? <laughs> well, uh, we, we always schemed up on it. You know, we had different schemes for different teams because, you know, you got, you got some teams that have different walls and things like that. So it's all a week, weekly basis type deal. Well, um, I want to continue my football career. You know, there's something that I always wanted to accomplish. Childhood dream, like everybody else. And, you know, if that don't work, plan on going into law enforcement, things like that. Help change, help change communities and things like that. All right. All right. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, fine, thanks. I'm Molly. I worked for a TV station in Lafayette. Okay.
year on the transition for the coaching staff. Just kind of how have you done that? How have you embraced the leadership role? Well, you know, I just wanted to show the guys, you know, like there's a reason for everything. And and Coach Summers and his staff, they have a, they have a game plan. And, you know, a lot of the players, it's, Having a new staff coming in, it's hard to, to gain trust, and I wanted to pretty much show them, like, you know, you trust them, do everything the right way, everything else will fall in place. With that, what are some strengths just as a team unit that you're bringing back? New staff, but just what are the, what are the strengths that are, are there? Uh, well, we got a new staff, and the thing about our team, we got a, we got a team full of guys that, that's ready to compete. Um, all summer is – been competitive day in day out. Um, we we all been pushing each other to be the best, and I'm very excited because <laughs> having a team like that, I mean, I'm ready to go to war with them. Just the two conference losses last year. How do you guys? Do you feel like if you tighten up, there's a chance to, to be the best in the league? Does it feel like that's there? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm very confident about our team. Uh, like I said, this summer been huge for us, and we, we know what we have to do. And everybody is bought into the program right now, and they, they're ready to play. They're, they're eager you know, to make plays and make history at Georgia Southern. Offensive-wise, just where are things strong? Just kind of defensively and offensively, where mm -hmm. are things strong? Uh, well, defensively, uh, we got our, our front seven coming back, and that's that's very big. you know. And in the second there, you know, we lost – we lost a lot of guys, but we also have a, a team full of young guys that's ready to compete. You know, they they ready to, they they like to learn, and they like to go out and try to make plays. And offensively, you got every skill position back. Uh, you also have Andy Quan, one of the best centers in the nation, and I'm just excited because we got a lot of talent coming back, got a lot of experience, and it's gonna be big for us this year. What do you like about Coach so far? Uh, Coach Summers, he's he's a good guy. Uh, He's very he's he's for the players and he's gonna try his best to make everything work out, you know, for the better of the team. So that's why I, I, one thing I like about him. You seem confident. Just where's the confidence overall with the team? Is everyone kind of right there with you? Yes, everybody is confident. Like um like our strength and conditioning coach, um, coach Doctor Dorsey, he's he pushed us. He pushed us this summer, and you know by us being pushed like that, it really showed us like we're capable of, of doing anything. And I really feel like this this season really going to be huge for us because our confidence level is high. And playing uh, when you face against UL, you guys are playing this season. Right? Yes, ma'am. Does the Anthony Jennings talk, does that affect you? You know, they've, they've gotten LSU transfer quarterback Anthony Jennings, so mm -hmm. they're still not sure who the quarterback is. But does possibly facing an SEC quarterback mean anything different to you? No, ma'am, it don't mean too much. Like, I, I, n I never knew about the transfer at all. But, um, you know, we just – at the end of the day, we're playing football, and I got a, a team full of guys that's ready to compete, like I said earlier, and it, it really don't even matter who, who we're playing because we're, we're ready. We're ready to play. All right. Thank you. All right. Hey, how you doing? Uh, things that I'm really focusing on this season is help leading the team uh, and making making plays to put our team in the best position possible, things like that. Excellent. Yes, sir. I love the iron testing. I have a little anvil. <laughs> it's not iron. But uh, my, my colleague already asked you the background of it. That's great. Where did your dad get it from? Uh, I think he get it from um, I. A. Hayward, who oh. played back in the day. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. great. Well, <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, Iron Head Gallon. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. First off, now that it's official in the uh, program, Iron Head, where, where did it come from? How many times has everybody asked you? That? Uh, they, I got asked that a lot of times. Uh, well, the name come from. My dad, he gave it to me when I was younger, and I think I had Hayward, who played back in the day, had something to do with it. And, and 
and uh, I know uh, last year you kind of asked about going by that, and they kind of told you to prove it, and then you go block the punt. Uh, what, what, what's been the reception from uh, all, all, the, all your teammates and the coaches? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, um, it just, like, it, I really proved it kind of like my freshman year, uh, but, you know, everybody, everybody around campus, you know, in the locker rooms, things like that, it just some day in day out. Like I even had a professor uh, actually tell me that he kind of forgot my first name. <laughs> and uh, you know Georgia Southern, uh, a lot of times you hear that name, the first thing you think of is running the ball, option, offense. Mm -hmm. but I, I know Coach was just up there saying that he thinks that defense can be one of the best in the nation. How do you guys view it? Do you like kind of being under the radar and showing up on game day, or are you trying to announce yourself? Well, um, with us. You know, we always been underdogs, and we always, you know, prove a lot of people wrong. And that's something that, as a defensive unit, that's something that we're gonna do. We're gonna prove ourselves to everyone that we we are competitive and that we're one of the best in the nation because we put in work. Um, we're very de dedicated. We got a lot of talent, and we got a lot of experience coming back. So uh, a lot of that experience.